up. Are the children coming to see their nana today? No. Aren't they, really? Well, must be. Well, surely, isn't I saw it? them last week. Alan had to go out for babysitting. Oh, yes, but that's not the same thing at all, is it, babysitting? Little Sarah came down to see me. She's in scam. No, I didn't listen. I think it's me, Nova. Alan's coming to see us. Pour yourself another cup of tea. I'm all right, thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Alan isn't the children. If I went to this much trouble Sunday, I can tell you there'd be prayers said in my house. Thank you, Jill, for a lovely meal. But hear about it for a week. I'm making the gravy. You'll excuse me getting on. Oh, yes, don't worry about me. Matter of fact, I should be getting back to see what those children of mine are getting up to. I like to eat early when Alan's coming to see us. Do you notice how quiet it is? Gives me a chance to get cleared the way. It's a bad sign when you can't hear anything. Things as bad as they are. Between them, they're just as likely to burn the house down. Thanks for the cup of tea. You're welcome. Better make yourself scarce anyway before your husband comes down. I don't know. It takes longer and longer every day. I don't know, all the morning just to... How is he? Bored. I should think he'd be bored, I know. But I'd be bored with nothing to do all day. Bored to tears. It makes a lot of extra work for you. I don't mind that. You just take an interest in something. Hardly even goes out anymore. Poor old chat. Doesn't seem fair, does it? All the time in the world and nothing to do with it. Well, I'll see you a bit later, I expect. Unless you'd like an extra mouth to help with all that lovely food. Eggs and bacon, that's the order of the day in my house. Bye now. Hi, Mr. Stevens, how are you this morning? Oh, fine, thanks. Yes, I'm fine. Just get time to your lunch. I'm dishing up. You go and sit down. Can I help? No, I can manage. Well, if that's for me, that's more than enough. It's the only meal you'll get today. Make the most of it. Now, don't give me too much. Gravy? Yes. Thanks. You stop. Then wait. You say Alan was coming to see us today? Yes. Yeah. Bringing the children? No. Nope. I fetched pudding. Is that all you're going to eat? No, I'm not very hungry. Now mind how you go with that knife. Made an apple charlotte. Is that all right? Did Alan say when he thought he might get here? Oh, after lunch sometime. I don't know exactly why. Well, there's a thing I want to see this afternoon on television. Well, I don't suppose he'll mind. Probably sit down and watch it with you. Shall I make some custard? I like a bit of custard with apple charlotte. Funny we haven't heard from Terry lately. <laughs> we'll hear from her when there's something she wants. It's a long time. 
No news is good news. I miss her. Yes. I thought I'd show Willing I brought my plate out. Right. Well, now you're here, you can take this in for me. You sure you won't have one? <laughs> no, quite sure. Oh, make you a cup of tea while I clear these things away. No, thanks all the same. I'd rather, much rather, you had a bit of a rest. You must have been on your feet all the morning getting that meal ready. I'd like to get cleared away before Alan arrives. Oh, what possible difference can it make? A few dishes on the table. What possible... You sit there, smoke your cigarette, and I'll just potter. Oh, you sit there. You need the rest. Well, I like the place to look nice. By the time Alan's had lunch, they always eat late, you know that. Helped Ellen with the washing up, played with the children. There'll be plenty of time for you to have, well, just a, a bit of a rest, surely. Yes, all right. Well, I'm not suggesting you put your feet up. Just sit there. Relax. Mrs. Hayter have to say for herself? <sighs> Nothing much. Took long enough about it. She asked how you were. That's nice of her. Oh, she is really quite nice. Talks rather a lot still. Not much in the papers today. I haven't looked. I shouldn't bother. No, no, stay where you are, get it. I just clear these things away and get, get the kettle on. Yes, yes. All right. surprised. Hello, stranger. How are you? Well, as can be expected, I suppose. You didn't know Teddy was coming by today, did you? Are you going to start drying up, or aren't you? Have you had anything to eat? Yes, thanks. I have, have you? Yeah, I had a sandwich, you know. That's not enough. It's about all you ever eat. Well, I usually manage a couple of meals a day. You're looking tired. Thanks. Haven't you been well? I am in excellent health. It doesn't look like it. Thirty last month. Did you know that? Well, of course. Well, I thought, seeing as I didn't get a card. Well, we didn't know where to send it, did we? Here, let me do that. Your present's here, waiting for you. That's nice. What is it? You wait and see. Where are you living now? Ha-ha. Uh -huh. It's well hidden. Rather proud of that. What do you say, Dad? I say it's no good pulling the house to pieces because you won't find it. Oh, no, I bet it's hidden in the place. It's always hidden. It isn't hidden. In. hidden. Don't be ridiculous. It's in the back room. Kettle's boiling. Yes. Milk, sugar. Yes, please. Mm, I'll get it. It must be above 500 years old. Tall. I can't see the top. It disappears in the clouds. Well, not exactly. My flat's in the basement. The window sort of cuts it off. It disappears in the clouds. And you climb up it can. and... Nothing more. White as a sheet. Am I? Ted, get the girl's huh? chair. Uh, here we are. Come on, love. Oh, no, that's done. Ted, you go and sit down. 
Have we finished? I'll do the rest. Wasn't there something you wanted to watch this afternoon? I thought Alan was coming to see us. Oh, he said he might. Oh, that'll be jolly. He didn't get away. There's a film on this afternoon. He certainly won't be here for a while yet if he gets here at all. Ellen being difficult. You might as well watch some of it while you've got the chance. Mm. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yes, Dad. Yes, I suddenly felt it was hot in here, that's all. Yes, it does get hot. Looked like you were going to pass out. You don't get enough to eat. Oh, yes, I'm a pig, an absolute pig. I'll never stop eating. Mm. This girl you're living with, is she a sensible sort of girl? More sensible than you? Hmm? Jess, oh yeah, she's more sensible than God. Jess? <laughs> what sort of a name is that? Short for Jessica, like Terry, short for Teresa. Yes. Yeah, I think we make a good pair. How do we ever start calling you Terry? Ted, really? Hmm? Well, put it in a jug. Well, Terry doesn't mind. I mind. All right, you put it in a jug. Sit there and have a rest. Oh, I'll leave the door open, shall I? Thanks, Dad. How do you think he's looking? Much the same. Do you? You never did look at other people. Oh, he looks old. He is old. Tired. Not to do with himself. Gets under your feet. Yes. Yes, he does. Perhaps you should put him in a home. Oh, that's what I can expect. Oh, people's home. I know. You'll never get old. As soon as your father's gone. I'll be getting gone. buried before you're old. I can old. just see you. Alan, Ellen and you. Well, then, now he's dead, what are we going to do with her? She can't stay here with us. Ellen. I've no room for her. Me? Much better put her away. Dear God. Go to a home. Who'd have you? It's not easy, you know, getting into one of those places. I've been trying for years. It seems like it might be the ideal place for me. I'm serious. Oh, no, you're not. I hope you're not. It makes a pretty sick joke. If it's real, yuck, I might just throw up. Don't talk like that. I'm so sorry about the dear. I might just be a little sick. I thought you were going to be. Sick? So did I. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Oh, don't be silly, child. I'm Obviously perfectly all right. What's the matter with... Are you pregnant? No. You put on a lot of weight. Yes. Seen a doctor? Not recently. Have you got a doctor? No, not at the moment. Last time I went out with him, he suggested a few things I didn't much fancy, so I haven't been out with him again. Terry, why don't you stay the night and go and see Dr. Parker in the morning? If I want a doctor, I'll find one of my own. Dr. Thanks, Dr. Parker saying. knows you better than anybody. Mm, I didn't say that. <laughs> Go and see him. I don't want to see him. Go and see someone. I don't want to see if you haven't seen a doctor, how can you be certain? Because I have to be sure about things like that. Yes, it may come as a great surprise to you, Alan. Good gracious, doctor, is that mine? I have to be certain because not having the luxury of a husband, I might have to do something about it. Now, can we have the door open again, please? Shall I get it? If you don't mind. Yeah. Just want to get the cake in the oven? Oh, no. You've not made a cake, especially because I've come to tea. No. I'm making it for your father. I make a cake for him every Sunday. Does he eat it? Hurry up before it wakes oh, your father. Way. Go along. That's serious conversation. What would we talk about? Getting a cake in the oven. Oh. Alan, come and talk to me. Kids in there, love. Mmm, tastes good. Tastes better cooked. When am I going to see them? When are you coming over? I thought they might come with you this afternoon. You know very well. They... I told you. I thought you might change your mind. I thought Ellen might. It isn't a question of changing. I'm telling Dad I thought I'd come over next weekend, give him an hand with the garden. What did he say? He said he could manage it himself. Perfectly well, he said. He can't. No. 
He hasn't touched the garden. I don't know how long. It shows. Well, it's not his fault. I didn't say it was his Wait till you get to be his age. You see if you feel like I digging suppose up. I shall. I know he doesn't. Shut That's why the door, I I want to talk to him. Well, what's it all about? What's the big secret? Hang on a minute. I just want to get the cake in the oven. Why are you making all that fuss? What? I don't suppose she'll eat it. I'm not making the Wait, cake. Wait, she's putting on. Yes, I know. A glass of lemon juice three times a day and a piece of toast. How do you think she's looking? Like that. She could do with getting out the sunshine a bit more she often. She doesn't look well, does she? You make a cup of tea? Oh, I've just made Terry a cup of coffee. I hope she enjoyed it. Well, the kettle's still hot. You had this thing fixed yet, so it's still likely to blow the house up. Hold it downwards. <laughs> the marvels of science. I think she's looking pretty ropey, as a matter of honest fact. I thought she was going to faint one time. Did you get a chance to ask her? I think she's pregnant. Oh. It's a thought, not particularly original. She said, no, she isn't. You said, um, oh, you're pregnant. Yes, I did. Oh, it was Daddy. Oh, don't be stupid. I want you to talk to her. I was talking to her just now. You said I you want wanted you to ask her. Thanks. Well, she might tell you. She might not. More likely. What are you going to do about it? Always supposing she is. I don't know. Give it some thought. You're not often wrong, are you? I'll make some sandwiches for tea. You want me to lead up to it? Sort of box clever? Hmm? Or maybe just ask straight out? She is. You can guess why she's here? She wants to tell me. She won't find it easy. Mm -mm. she tell you she was coming? Yeah, of course not. Does she ever? Where are you in the teapot? Oh, you the little one, will you? On the draining board. Yeah. Who else is coming? What? Making sandwiches enough for two small armies. If she wants to come home, Helen, tell her. You tell her. Well, I thought perhaps. Uh, is, is she thinks she's going to believe me. No, no. Some things I've you have to. Always relied. Yes, on... I know. She's staying for supper. No. Ask her. Make her stay. Talk to her. How can I make her stay? You know what she's like. Make an effort. Some sort of special effort. Try and talk to her. Maybe that's why she's here. If she wants to stay here, well, if she only has to ask, Alan, tell her. You tell her. It's usually a reason when she comes to see you. Maybe this time. Her father was saying if she wanted to spend a holiday with us this year. What did you say? I said she was welcome. Well, she is, of course. She might find it boring. Oh, I don't know why I bother. You know what you want, really? You and Terry, one of those blokes, interpreters. I don't know what you're talking about. You want a cup of tea? No, thanks. Just a one. Plenty in the park. No, thanks. Suppose it was Michael or little Sarah. You want little Sarah to come on holiday? Oh, don't you? I can just see. Now, what are you going to say? You're quite welcome. Of course, you might find it that bit boring. Is that what you're going to say? Terry isn't little Sarah. Makes no difference. Sarah, little Sarah. Three, three and a half. Terry's 30. It's a woman, All right. a grown woman. If you wanted to do something, it has to sound like... Or like she might enjoy herself, like you want her. If I didn't want her... You wouldn't ask her. Yeah, I know. All the same, it's... Not I'm not going to beg her. Yes, you are. Why should I? Because... Who gets most out of it? Who's asking? Who is giving? I don't know what... I'm just... Giving. Oh. Everything I've given to him. If she thought for a moment maybe she was doing you a favour what? instead of what's right, what's only right, you what's don't expected. Know what yes, we know what's do expected. You? No, well, you wouldn't think it so doesn't sometimes. necessarily make a difference knowing. No. Well, if we if had any idea, and I if never see you in the like I'm glad children. you think it's funny. I think it's pathetic. Why do you want to see us? In God's name, what have you got to say to us? Me, I bore you. Oh. My children, right, that's different. Yes, I agree. And me, it's always Alan. I never see you. Your father 
hope you never saw me again. But little Sarah... Oh, don't call her. Don't... What'd you say? Nothing. About Sarah? Of course I want to see you. We want to see you. We've got nothing to say to each other, have we? I mean, how many evenings have we sat in there? How many? What does it matter? Talking and talking, it's... It's being... It's not being... What is it? What's the matter? I don't know what he thinks about. I, I, his mind, I don't know... Dad? He doesn't talk. Sometimes hours... Come and, and see he us. Doesn't... Spend the evening with the... He doesn't like going out now much. He never did much now. You can't just sit. We do. Ah, uh, go and please go and talk to Terry. Yeah, I'll fetch her down. Tea won't be ready for a while yet. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't shut the door. When are we going to have tea? When it's ready. Haven't you put the kettle on? It won't take a minute. What have you done with the kids? Upstairs, I think. Are they? Talking, yeah. I'll just give them a shout. There's plenty of time. Tea's made. Leave them alone. What'd you say? If they want to talk. Come on, you two. Leave them alone. Your mother's poured out. Ted, you sit down. Don't wait for that. Don't let it get cold. Alan, Terry, do you hear? Ted, come and sit down. Once they get talking. Here they come. It's about time. Now sit down, for goodness sake. What's all the shouting about? Sit down, both of you. Are we expecting royalty? Oh, what were you two talking about up there? A feast fit for a king. Or a queen, as the case may be. <laughs> right, you're right. Teddy? Now take your own sugar. Have you? Uh, well, it's a long time since we've sat down, all of us together, and had tea. Yes, yeah, I thought at least we have a fatty calf. Well, we didn't know you were coming, did we? Thanks. Feels like old times. Oh, so did we sit down like this to tea, all of us, when we lived at home? Yes, of course we did. New job, Alan. What new job? It's by way of being a promotion, as a matter of fact. Promotion? That's good. It's about time. Well, they must be pleased with you. Yes, I think they are. Well, that's good, isn't it, Mother? That's very good. Will it be more money? Yeah, it would be, really, quite a lot more money. Good. But you won't take it. Let's have the jam back if you finish with it. You won't take that job. I'm thinking about it. Jam. Thanks. You're not going to take it, Alan. I don't know, Dad. But they'll expect you to, won't they, if it's a promotion? What they expect and what they get, those are two very different things, Dad. Ta -da! Be quiet, Terry. I don't understand, Alan. If it's a promotion and if it's more money, why aren't you going to take the job? In a nutshell, Dad, that puts it in a sweet, crunchy nutshell. I can't wait for the answer. You listen to me, young lady. You're not too old. To go across your knee, no, not too old, but twice again too large. You can still be sent out of the room. You send me out of the room, sweetie. You send me out of the house. Don't speak to your mother like that. Is that my mother? I quite forgot. I thought it was my older sister, Lord. <laughs> you think you're very clever, don't Sometimes you? Sometimes I think I get by. Yes. In a fairly large crowd. <laughs> why aren't you going to take the job, Alan? Look, Dad, I haven't decided what to do, not yet. It means moving away from London? Yes, it does. Lock, stock and barrel, if I can refer to darling Is Ellen. Is that <laughs> what it means? Yes. You mustn't think about us, Alan. Your father and I can manage quite well. We've got the house, we've got enough money. The only thing that matters really is your career. We've always tried to give you every possible chance, and if this is the right thing for you to do, well, then you must do it. That's all there is to it. After all, we're getting on now. Mrs. Stevens, wife and mother, I present you with the Jesus of Nazareth Award for suffering.
and humanity. May God bless you and all who sail it. You have a filthy mouth. I better go and wash. How dare you speak like that in this house? Oh, yes, that's right. What pretend my mother dear is so special about this house? Oh, you think known. he's you? You think he's going to be offended because your daughter How why doesn't he strike me dead? I will not have you making your cheek. If that's so shocking, why doesn't he reach down, pow, and strike me dead? You think you're so important. I think anyone who needs something, anything, God knows. Your friends think that's very the funny, The for all the friends I've got, I haven't got any. You could butter on that piece of bread, eat, and you still wouldn't choke Terry, on it. Terry, be quiet. So you haven't just started. You don't make me laugh. Or five elephants and a camel in a phone box wouldn't make you laugh. If you can't you control your tongue, I think it's job. better if you don't come and see us again. Mother, no. It's probably Gordon. Now look. Answer them, sir. Both of you. Truce. Don't come and see us again. I won't. What the man? I give you my address in case you need. Well, in case anything happens, you want to get in touch. Thank you. I'm on the phone. I might as well leave the number. I thought I would. When's it due? Four, maybe five months from now. You ought to have a doctor look at you. I go to the hospital. Well, they're very good. I'm going to have it at the hospital. I'll make you, if it's the first. It is the first. First I've had, yes. Well, if you're anything like me, you'll have a rough time. That seems to be the general opinion. Do you want to have it? didn't really mean. If you want to come Oh, you meant it. Anyway, I don't. I've only got five months, five at the most. I've got a lot of things to learn. Looking after myself, living on my I own. I thought you said Jessica, isn't that, isn't that her name? Isn't she living with you? For the moment, just for the moment. Till the baby? No. Do you want me to tell your father? You do as you want to well, do. It's up to you. Well, I'd rather you didn't, if it's possible. You'd drop us a line. Oh, not for the moment. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Have you anything without a tip? No, I spent my last on the train. Well, I must get. <laughs> There's no need. No, I don't have to get any ice cream. It's not about the thing. It's like you need a great many yeah, things. I've thought, I've read, I've asked. Oh, you told a lot of people. No, it's not the sort of thing you. Oh, anyway, I've got to go on working. Just a few theoretical... I always thought... Got a match. If it had teeth, it would have bitten you. I'm really very frightened. There's no need. Gordon. Oh, I'm going to say goodbye to Dad. Oh, I just palmed Gordon off. Well, you'll have to get out then, won't you? Be a bit more gracious. Well, what is he? Some sort of tender plant? Aren't we all? I'll tell him door to talk. I'll put the fear of God into it. Oh, what would we do without you? What? A very present help in time of trouble. I suppose just... you know what you're talking about. What makes you think that? She is pregnant. Hmm. Makes a difference. What? She isn't, you know, responsible. For what she says? She doesn't mean she never did half the things she says. She can be very hurtful. She doesn't think. Stands at this window, hours at a time. Dan. Looks out. I think it... You're going to take the job? I don't know. You're going to take it. No, I haven't made up my mind. You might have told me. 
I have no myself. Get a blurty. What is it? What's the matter? You might have told me. Talked it over. I was going to. When are you going? I don't know if when? I When? Soon. Where? Australia. How long have you known? Not long. How long? Long enough to phone. I didn't want long to enough tell to... you on the phone. You didn't want to tell me. Oh, Frightened to tell me. Sake. Talked about it to Ellen. Yes. She wants to go. Can we, you know, if we're going to talk, Found you know, leave time Ellen... to talk about it to Ellen. Leave her out of it. Tom Rutherford. Do you remember Tom? What? He went to Canada. Do you remember him? No. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Went to the same school. He was round here. Yeah, all right. I like... remember him. What about Tom? He went to Canada. With his mother and father with him. You want to go to Australia? Uh, I'm not saying Just that some people, children, know how to behave. Paid for everything. Is he married? Does he have children? Yes, he's married. Children? I don't know. His wife gets on with his mother, oh, put him in the same room. Isn't every woman each the way Ellen up, treats me? The way you treat Ellen. Since the day you were oh, married. she's tried to come it between isn't us. She's always trying to split us up. Make a joke of everything. It is a joke. She never even tried to understand. She breaks her heart. Oh, she never comes to see me. She never even phones Why? me. Why? Have you thought? What happens when she does phone? Oh, of course you take what her do, side. What do you say to her? You've always taken her She's side. She's my wife. I love her. You're supposed to... I'm your mother. I thought you were all dead. Mm. You're like, hello, stranger, when I walk in the house every week. The same thing. Hello, stranger. Could be a year. You don't come and see us every week. If you did, if you made the Still effort... Still wouldn't be enough. Every week, I would have come to see you twice a week. Twice a week, I would have come... If, if I, I, was if a I girl, lived at home... My sister... Every day, yes, I know. Your mother despised her. You don't know that. You despise me. Can't do enough. I'm always wrong. Yes, I know. You despise me hanging about. Wondering what's going to happen oh, to don't you. Don't worry about us. I should be off on my own. <laughs> For all the good you if are, I you thought, might just Honestly, as well as... half the things you say, if I thought you meant them... I'd have taken that job five years ago. And, and, and I'd have gone to Newcastle and happy, you know, laughing, just let you get on with it. Five years ago? They'd been after me, wanting me to move away from London. Newcastle? There was one job then. There'd been others. Well, why'd you take them, one of them? It's a long trip every other Sunday back to London. No. I'm hardly ever home as it is, given a train You're journey. Like your I've father. never seen my... What do you mean? Well, you've got a job you can do. It's not good enough for you, but you can do it. You've done it now how long? Six, seven years? Your father worked 20 years the same job. He could have got promotion. He could have got a better job. Any number of better jobs. He didn't want a better job. He knew the job. He stayed where he was. He was frightened. Dad? Change. Frightened him. It was a job, and jobs are hard to get. What do you know about it? was it? money every week the for you, for us. New job, new people We didn't ask much, just all there was more next week, and twice as much on Sundays. Stayed where he was because it was safe, yes. Because every week, so much money. Enough. My fault. Your no. Blank. I didn't stop you him. Push. You don't know. Change frightens you. Strangers in the house. God, they worry you. Terry, Dad, me and Cope. Strangers. You might as well be strangers. You and Terry for all I ever see of you. I'm going to take this job. You said, just now, you, you... I've made up my mind. It's all a lie. Well, I've always known you don't really any more than Terry. You don't care what happens to us, your father, me, you don't care. You'll go off to Australia, we'll never see you again. That's what you want. That's what you've always wanted. Like Terry. And you haven't got the courage. You couldn't say, I'm the only person matters to me and you'll have to lump it. No, you let us think we could rely on you. You let us think, I'll always be there if we needed help. And now, first chance you get, first real chance, you're off. It was all lies. I should years ago. 
When I got married, I should have gone, like Terry. Mm. Gone away and at least let you, let you hate me. Given you some reason to hate. If I ever did was fail you. Because how can anyone, it isn't possible to satisfy, to be the thing you, it just isn't you possible. I think you know what I, what do you know? Self. You know, all your life, all the time, the same as Terry, the same as your father's self. Looking at yourself, thinking about yourself, loving yourself. Anyone else, they can go hang as far as you're concerned. The devil take... What do you know about me? Hmm? What, what could you? You, just a baby, eating and sleeping and keeping warm. You couldn't even do that for yourself. I did it for you. I fed you, I, I put you to bed, and when you couldn't sleep... Oh, no, yeah, you were the perfect mother. I looked after you. You didn't have much choice. Nights I sat up with you. You couldn't have starve. You had us if you didn't want to look I after us. I don't think I haven't regretted it time and time again. Nobody said you had to have children. I Nobody said children. You thought we'd look after you in your old I age. I thought love. You th I... give love, you get love, maybe. Oh, Terry. You could talk to her. Listen, try to understand. Does she try to understand? Does anybody? Uh, Terry's present. Oh. Present? What present is oh. that? Terry's birthday present. I give you my address. Don't, don't do that. I'm not finding you, sir. Why don't you begin to look after your friend? He was looking to see sorry for himself a few moments ago. Oh, for goodness sake. There you are. Put it somewhere safe so you can be sure and lose it. 130A Forsyth Street. You'll never find it on your own. When you come, you better give me plenty of warning. I can put chalk marks all the way along the pavements. It's, well, it used to be quite a smart neighbourhood. Just difficult for the stranger to find his way. <laughs> they sell survival kits at all the chemists. We'll find it. <laughs> Don't you be too sure. Better men than you have perished. The white man's grave, or is it burden? Anyway, if you are white, you need a passport. Well, you should be happy enough there. Yes, I'm very happy there, thank you. We'll come and see you, Terry. Soon, very soon. Oh, please, Dad, it's nice. I'd like to show it off to you. It'll have to be a weekend, I suppose. Well, unless you can manage an evening. Well, we don't go out much in the evenings, do we, Mother? What's stuck in watching the telly? We watch television, yes. I've got to say. I think the weekend would be best. Well, suit yourself. Bye. Keep in touch. Oh, nice to see you again. I hope it won't be long. Do you hear me, Terry? What, Dad? He's anyway going to come see me instead of the man in the Oh, you write to me. Oh, Dad, I can't write my name. Terry, write him. look after yourself. Oh, Barbara, you know me. I'm the one pull up the ladder. No, sorry, if you come in. Thank you, Nisha. Why can't you say this? Because of it's expecting me. Your daughter is a very popular girl. Did you come all this way? Just come and see me settled in my new home. Don't rush off. Oh, Dad, you know, there's nothing I'd like better than a quiet evening with you, but needs must. Bye now. Mind how you go. She's old enough. She can look after herself. Don't know what gets into the girl. She's changed, isn't she? I hardly recognise oh, yes, her as the changed. same girl. Oh, six months. If I'd had any idea... It must be six months since we last saw Teddy. More than that. Is it? Yes, I suppose it is. She's a very attractive young lady. Perhaps we ought to go and see that, um, what was it, new flat that she's got? If there's time. Do you mind waiting a bit longer? Oh, well, as a matter of fact, You've got just the address. have a word. Wouldn't it be better? You have got going... the address. Yes, yes, I have. Well, she seemed Let to want us to go and see her. Oh, no. Oh, well, I hate really, to think Mr. of you coming. Really, Mr. Simon. Not even a cup living. of tea. I want to go. Yes, Ted. Well, don't you? If there's time. Dad. I'll give you a Look, call later. Who's this girl? Um, what did Terry Can say? I talk to you, Dad? When you're at home. Uh, uh, Jessica, yes. Do you know her? No, Honestly, Gordon, if I had any idea. Well, who is Not she? What away. sort of girl is she? What does Dad, she do? How should I know? I'll slip away. How did Teddy come to meet her? I'm sorry. How does Forget Teddy it. come to be sharing? We don't know any of her friends. Mum. I'll look after Gordon. There's no need. <laughs> Dad. Fix this house like a hotel. Come in and go in just a few minutes. 
I'm afraid I called an inconvenient what? moment. No, it, of course not. No, you sit there. And I'll, uh, I'll tell Alan. I'll... Uh, I'd rather, you know, uh, just leave it. I can always talk to him later. Oh, Alan, be furious. Of course you can't. Uh... How long? Sorry, Mrs. Stevens. What? Everyone that... Oh, Gordon, still waiting. Yes, I know, ma'am. I'm just coming. What have you been talking about? I don't know. I can't. I've been... Gordon's been waiting what up there. What have you all... been saying to your father? Mum, please. Look at him. I asked him, should I take the job? I think he should, don't you, Mother? I think he should make up his own mind. Ah, well, I'm taking the job off to Tipperary in the morning. Now, if you'll please get... I want get to know off. what's been going on. Is Gordon on still here, father? Mother? Did you say he was still here? Yes, yes, I did. We talked about Terry, just a bit happening? about Terry. That's all. About? He's got a family of his own, Somebody hasn't he? Somebody you know about Terry. It's a great thing, isn't it? Blocking the traffic. Everyone's got one. Everyone understands Gordon. about families. Alan, I want to talk uh, to you. Not just now. Yes. And leave Gordon. He's waited an hour already. He's quite long enough. He can wait a few minutes longer. You want to know what we talked about? Or I asked Dad and I... What did you say to make your father... Why was he so upset? Was he? I didn't notice. Just the same as usual. Why I can't thought, you I'm... leave him alone? I didn't touch him. Don't take it out on him. What? Oh, I don't know. Something and... Well, don't use him. Don't take it out on him because you're frightened of Ellen. And what? Frightened? When did you get a hold of that? You so... want to hurt someone. Uh, you come top of the list. Not him. Believe me. If ever I'm looking around for someone, now, the first time I thought maybe if she was dead, I wouldn't have all these problems. I could just feel sorry for her. I'm sorry we've wasted so much of your time, Gordon. No. It isn't no. often we see Alan these days. Well, I didn't mean. About six. Hmm? Mrs. Stevens, it's please. It's perfectly all right. I quite understand. My wife will be expecting me back for tea. Ellen will be wondering what's happened to you. T tomorrow evening, then. Hmm? Can you make it seven? Six a bit early. Seven it is. I was sure, absolutely sure. What are you looking for? Uh, there's a photograph I want to show Gordon. He's gone. Has he? Oh, well. His wife's expecting him home for tea. Oh, yes, he did say something. What photograph was it? Well, the school team, don't you remember? was taken their last term. Gordon was captain, Alan was sent to forward. Well, you won't find it there, will you? I thought I should. Well, not with those photographs. They're all as old as the hills. <coughs> it's funny because I... He's gone. He couldn't wait any longer. Mm. He's a nice boy, Gordon. I like him. What were you and Alan talking about? Uh, whether or not he should take that new job he's been offered. That's all. He wanted to ask me should he take it. You're talking a long time. Mm. I wish I could have found that photograph. I thought you looked a bit upset. Me? Upset when? When I walked in. I wonder what Alan could have said to upset you. I wasn't upset. Well, I thought you looked upset. Alan! Just going out. If he said something... He didn't. He could go this summer. Don't put ideas in his head. As a matter of fact, only last summer. I was walking in the park and the trees... Leave him alone. The trees looked so beautiful. You could stay there, couldn't you? There must be a hotel of sorts. I was on oh, my come own. On. When was the last time you two had a proper holiday? When, when you were children. Well, it's good in time you had another. I thought, then, it's not a bit like it used to be at home. You know what I mean? You can walk a mile, not meet another soul. You and Mum, get yourselves packed. As soon as the sun shines, off you go. That's what I think. God knows there's little enough to keep Something us here. Something about the sun in the trees overhead made me think... breaking and moving, 
smiling like home, I thought. Why don't I go and see the old place? People do, lots of people. When they get to your father's age. Yes, that's right. It's very likely changed, it's a long time. Go and see. Your father won't know anybody living there. Does that matter? And nobody will know him. I certainly would like to see the old place once before. Think. Why don't you think? I know where it is. Yes, of course, yes. Hey, don't run away. What an idiot I am. Dad, I've got to go in a few minutes. I thought now. Leave I him know. alone. Leave... Dad! I tried to talk about the job. He talked about Terry. I asked him to help me. He talked about Terry. Anything, everything I said. I'm jealous of Terry. Yes. What do you mean, help you? How can he help you? He could tell me... Really, what he wants me to do? Stay or go? You're going. One way or the made other. up your mind. No, I haven't made up my you mind. Said... I was angry. You. Uh, sometimes. Most times. You make me angry and I say things. How can you be jealous of I don't Terry? Mean I don't understand. Love. That. I wouldn't have a. I don't want her in the oh, house. Oh, no, come on. If I had my way, I'd tell her, don't come, come and see us again, times. ever again. If, if it wasn't for her father, how can you life. be jealous of Terry? You worry about Terry, you think about I her. I wouldn't open the door if, if she... she came back now. Right now, came back and asked you no. to take... Yes. You saw the way she behaved. You had to think... What possible difference does Why that Why does she have to come and Love? see us if she has to be... Terry? Surely isn't hate. She wouldn't say that... She couldn't... You say... can. Every time you speak to Terry, what? you hurt her. Oh. Sometimes cut her in two. Oh, yes. How long is it since you said, <laughs> I don't know, thank you for coming to see us? My fault, yeah. Naturally, of course, it's all no. my fault. How long is it since she said... How... Oh. Is it so difficult? Really? Couldn't you... Why should I? Because she's had about all, don't you think? More than she can take. What about me? She doesn't know how to say, how to ask. The only time I asked, once, and it was something important. I thought at the time it was important, and I asked. I didn't. I was Taylor's age. No, younger. It's funny, I always think she's much younger than she is. He didn't listen. Didn't even hear. You can't blame Terry. Certainly, she's really quite old. It isn't her fault. <laughs> of course it isn't her fault. She wasn't even born. I don't blame Terry. <laughs> you could try and tell her uh, that. You'll like it in Australia. You won't have any of these, what was it you said, problems? You can forget about us, your father, Terry, me, forget all about us and get on thinking about yourself. Huh. Suddenly you're a happy family. Pow! Like Terry says, and it's me on the outside, me running away, leaving you. Yes. Why? All these years, all this time, now off. Why? Either you go or she goes. Ellen? She's put up with us all these Nothing years. Nothing to do with me. Just Ellen says and I jump. She hates us. Doesn't she hate us? No, she doesn't. I can understand it if she did, but she doesn't hate you, not even you. Dad, she's rather fond of. Alan, you can't leave me alone. What is it? You can't, alone with him, you can't. It isn't fair. I mean, what am I going to do? What's happened to make you feel, I don't know, whatever You're it is. You're going away. Oh, yes, but you always say you Oh, don't. you know, surely, the things I say. You don't mean them, yes, I know, all the Teddy's same. Teddy's going away. Honestly, you think she won't be back? <laughs> couple of weeks, couple of months, she'll be back. She was saying goodbye today. She came to say goodbye to him. <laughs> That's all. She won't come back. If you could ask her. And the sun come up at night. <laughs> if I could ask, and I can't. You could try. Ask Ellen to let you stay. Tell her you can't go to Australia. It isn't Ellen. No, of course not. You think I don't know? You want to get away as far away? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's what you want to oh, think, no. isn't it? No, you've done your bit all these years. Isn't that what you've said? You've done nothing. Poor old things. Drop in and cheer them up a bit. Can't really spare the time. Honestly, you think I'd come If you around... walked in here once with a smile, 
Yeah, pleased to see us, as if you wanted to see us, wanted to talk to your father. Talk... There's no point. Duty, going... like some kind of what a prison visitor. <laughs> oh, well, now you're going away. Now you won't have to plan. Now your time's your own. You won't even listen. Now, when I need you. <laughs> now you could help me, really help me. How can I help you? You think you know what it's like living... Just living here. <laughs> Days, and he doesn't even speak to me. I don't think. Uh, more than half the time, he doesn't know what day, what He's always year. He's been, well, vague. It's not the same. Now it's it's not the same. What do you mean it's not the same? I don't understand. <sighs> well, when he was at work. Days, he, each day was different. Things that happened, things he had to do. Well, I mean, the, the deliveries, Monday, <laughs> Northwest, Tuesday, South, when? He had something he could hold on to. Thursdays, he always had lunch with Barry Holton. Now, make him sound. Days are all the same. He can't do one from the other, just nights and he sleeps. Day and he waits for the night. It's not that bad, surely. It can't you be. You don't know. You're not here. I talk to him. Oh. All right, he doesn't listen anymore. Oh! Still... Is it your head? Hmm? Is it bad? What is it? No. No, it's nothing. What? No, it's nothing. Come on, let's get on. You make him sound, you know, perhaps he's mad. He isn't mad. The way you talk about him. He's old and he's tired. He doesn't think. Why should he? He's got nothing to think about. Give me a hand with these things, will you? No. You see much of Gordon these days? No, I don't. I've never liked him. Yeah, you know, even, even when he was quite little, I thought I could remember What's thinking... What's it all about? He he does. He, he wants to tell you about You're him. You're going to tell me? He wants to make himself... What good would it do, telling you? You're going away. Anyway, you don't want to know. It's some time before I go. Oh, weeks, yes, I know. It isn't weeks. Years, maybe. If you can't see now... You... What? See what? I don't know, honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Come back in a couple of years. Look, something you want to say to me, something you want me to I do... Want I want you here! Now, he doesn't want me. I can't. You know I can't help. With him, it's always Terry. I was talking to him. Hey, you don't want me. You and Terry, you wouldn't let anyone else look after him, you know that. Someone to look after me. <laughs> if you could... If only Terry... Oh, yeah. Huh. Perfect answer. <laughs> Come home to have a baby. Another grandchild here in my own house. She'd have to go out work to work, Teddy. She's not the girl to sit. <laughs> Heaven sent, you might almost call it, a baby I could look after. Why well, only go to waste? No. No quarrels with Ellen. Why can't she leave the child alone? If she gives Michael one more sweet, if little Sarah's sick tonight, was she sick? Was she ever sick after she's been to tea here? Honestly, you're always saying honestly, was she? No, she wasn't. I oh, brought up children. No talking own. to her the next day. No telling her. Oh, you worry too much. Nana lets me. Nana says I could. What? Stay up half the night, change her pajamas three times because she doesn't like the colour. Little madam. Tell Ellen she doesn't like her. She doesn't want to live with her. Oh, she's only a baby. I'd rather live with Nana. She doesn't know what she's Nana saying. Nana lets me do just whatever I want to do. Oh, well, of course, it's nothing to do with me, but I think Ellen's too strict with the child. It does no harm. Ellen is some sort of fairy godmother in Technicolor and cinema <laughs> scope compared with the way you brought us up. If you could remember, I mean, really, the way I can remember, you wouldn't want me here any more than... I'll say goodbye to Dad. Any more than you want to be here? No, well, that's clear enough. Look at it this way. You're not just losing a daughter, you're losing a son as well. How did I bring you up? How, how was it different? You didn't make special teas for me. Cakes and jellies, biscuits and ice cream. You didn't... 
push packets of sweets into my sticky little hand. <laughs> you didn't fetch and carry for me. You never threw your arms around me. You didn't tell me. I... You never told me I was... <laughs> Poor old Alan, no one loves him. It's pathetic, isn't it? I told you what, I never told you what. You never stop telling little Sarah how pretty she is. You were a boy. You can't tell a boy what pretty. There must be something else. There must be something you, you can tell a boy so he doesn't grow up sort of surprised that anyone even notices him. I loved you, I told you. Did you? How could you say you... How... Alan... Could you want me to be dead? Oh. Nothing particularly special about that. I want everyone dead one way or another. It's my favourite solution. If only he, she, and it was dead. Me? When I was eight or nine. Don't go, Alan, please. I'm sorry, Ma, I wouldn't. Only I have this work to do. If I start the week behind... Australia! Man, I'll... Don't go. I don't want to. I don't have much choice. You said you could make up your own mind. Yes. All right. Yeah. Take the job. Go to Australia. I hope I never see any of you again. program your father wants to watch on the television. If he stays up there all no, night, it... Afternoon. Oh, yes. Did I see Terry? I thought I saw her. Yes, you, you did. You weren't expecting her, were you? No. How is she? I thought she might look in and say hello. But she was in a bit of a hurry. She always is. Alan's still here. He's talking to his father. Must have seemed a bit strange, all of you, in the same house at the same time. Yeah. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Alan's staying on, is he? No, no. He should have gone long ago. I don't know what's keeping him. I thought. Well, Dick's going out tonight, and I thought, if you're doing nothing and Mr. Stevens is watching the television... Well, that's very kind of you. For an hour, over a cup of coffee. Well, I've got all the tea things to clear away yet. I'm... Gets a bit lonely with Dick out for the night, and I thought, you know, if you felt like a bit of a gossip... Are you off then, Alan? Yeah, afraid so. Hello, Mrs. Hayter. Hello, Alan. How are you? I'm fine. Those lovely kiddies of yours, how are they? Flourishing. When are we going to see them again? It's weeks. Uh, next Sunday. Oh, very that's likely. good. They grow so quickly, you can hardly recognise them one week to the next. Your father coming down? Not just yet. What's he doing? He, uh, he's still looking at that photograph. At least I think that's what he's doing. I think it's an idea in his head. Your mother misses the children, Alan. Yes. Phone us during the week? Hmm? Yes, I will. Yeah. She won't say it herself. I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. Right. It isn't much to ask, is it? No, no. No, it isn't. Goodbye, Mrs. Hader. Mind how you go? Yes, I will. Mind how you go. They won't respect you, letting them walk all over you. Stand up to them. Show them. Just because you're their mother doesn't mean they can treat you like dirt. Tell them. Well, now, I really must get on. I've got all the tea things to clear away. Well, if you feel like coming over a bit later, you're always welcome. You know that, don't mm, you? Yes, thanks. Anyway, I'll be glad of the company. If there's time. You work too hard. Give yourself a bit of a rest. 
Bye now. that photograph? I can't think where it's got to. Let's have a bit of light on the subject. It's got quite dark. Mm. It doesn't matter now. I'll help you look for it. I don't know where to start. He doesn't look well, does he, Helen? Oh, well enough. Looked in these drawers. She leads him a bit of a dance, doesn't she? She wants him to take that job. He's going to take it. He said so. I've looked in there. It isn't... I don't know where it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Well, you wanted to look at it. I wanted to show it to Gordon. If he does take that job, if he does go to Australia, I shan't see him again. Nonsense. Of course you will. You know, there's a case in the attic. It doesn't matter. Really, they don't like us at all, do they, Sarah? Like us who? Terry, Alan. They come and see us. You're their mother and I'm their father. They're very lucky. We live here, they come here. Not very often they don't. I suppose we should be thankful they come and see us at all. No! No, I won't be thankful. He wants me to ask him to stay. He wants me to beg him to stay. Oh, no. He's asking for help. He thinks I need him. He thinks I'll miss him so much. I will, yes. He wants you to tell him what he should do. It's it. You know what he said? He said we didn't talk together when he was home and he was a boy, he said. Well, we did, didn't we? We used to sit and talk, I remember, Alan and me by the hour, talk about everything under the sun. That's right. Well, why did he say it? I don't know. Denying. I lit the fire in the front room. Why don't we go down and get a bit warm? It's cold. Don't you think it's cold up here? They had a good childhood. It's still winter, really. You want it to be summer so much. You forget it's... Good. Why does he have to pretend now as if... They had a wonderful childhood. Yes. If every child... I is... remember my father. Oh, no. Don't have another one now. <laughs> now, look. You're smoking too much. Wait until after supper. I remember. They had a wonderful childhood. Of course they did. Do you remember that picnic? I, I was only thinking about it today. Picnic. On the side of a hill, looking down, I, I can't remember where. Oh, yes. I can see it so clearly. Terry ran away and fell over. Mm. She hurt her knee. <laughs> you do remember? Certainly I remember. that There was a path, a very narrow path, yeah. That's right. <laughs> the three of you left me to carry the food all by myself. Well, Terry said, uh, I was talking about it to her, asking, did she remember? She said... Did it happen? Oh, I can remember carrying that basket. She said, I thought I made thought it up. Thought I was going to have a heart attack. I <laughs> thought I made it up. Naturally, it started to rain. Do you remember that? After tea. We only just got to shelter. <laughs> Running across the grass and Alan... Shouting with excitement. <laughs> I, I was, was carrying, carrying Terry. She said she couldn't walk. My knee hurts. No, as a matter of fact, that's why. I think some it was funny you sort carrying of shelter. Terry. It can't have been a bus shelter. Oh, we were a long way from buses. I'm too ill to walk, she said. <laughs> she had to scratch the side of my finger there. <laughs> Little madam. I don't even recognise her now. No. Perhaps we should go and see her. Yes, if you want to. See this new place she's got? Yeah. I'd like to know where she's living, the sort of place it is. Well, we can talk about it. And you'll come with me. If there's time. She wants us to go. She wants you to go. I can't go on my own. You can? Of course you can. I want to see her. Yes, I know. Go and see her. 
But if you won't come with me, how can I go? You won't believe me. It won't make a scrap of difference to Terry whether I come with you or not. Make a lot of difference to me. Well, let me know when you're thinking of going. I'll see if I can manage. But Sarah, the girl needs you. But the girl told me today precisely what she need, wants from me. She wants to be left alone. That... That is what she wants, and I'm only too happy to oblige her. Something's happening to Terry. I don't know what it is. She wouldn't tell me. She told Alan. Perhaps she told you. She told me. Whatever it is. She's pregnant. That's a fairly normal condition for a woman Terry's age. I she hasn't got a father for it, of course, but I don't suppose that matters to her, one way or the other. Yes. Cherry. She always told you the good things she did, the things she wanted you to know about. Other things if she told anyone. Oh, Ted, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Ted. Well, I'm going downstairs. You coming with me? <laughs> well, you can stay up here then. <laughs> if you want any supper, you can come and get it. Give it. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> I wanted to go. Eat it. Now I've cooked it for you. At least eat it before it gets cold. I wanted to go. What are you talking about? Teddy's wedding. I would have gone. I didn't stop you. You wouldn't come with me. If you wanted to go, you'd have gone. Well, that's easy to say. That's true. I wanted to go for Terry. I wanted to do it for Terry. You'd do anything for Terry. Hmm? Yes, yes, I would. Liar! You ruined that girl. Terry ruined Terry. Letting her think. Go on, say it, say All what you mean. All her life, you let her think you could do anything. All she had to do was ask. Well, isn't that natural? Only natural. If it's a lie! All right, I, I couldn't stop the sun in the sky. You couldn't stop the girl at school who used to bully her. Girl, school? You what? couldn't stop the man who... 10,000 little things, things that matter. Man? What man? What do you mean? A man stopped her. She was coming home from school. He exposed... She didn't tell me it about it. It was ten that. years before she told me, and then she was angry. She used it against me, attacking well, me. Well, nobody can stop. I mean, you accidents... You made her think you could. You told her... She was only a child. Anything happens, anything you do, come and talk to what me. Is I heard wrong? you. Is that come what and talk to me. Wrong? Come and say... tell me. How many times did she come and talk to you? Well, when she was a baby... When she... she was a woman. She needed you. You wouldn't let her need me. You made her think... Every time you... You didn't tell her about pain. You said, don't worry, baby, Daddy will take it away. You didn't tell her about death. You said, nobody dies. Well, what was I supposed they go to tell her? How can you I didn't know? tell her about heaven. Well, I you told her what my father Sunday said. Sunday school. You love her. Yes. I know you love her. More than more, I love and her. And the thing she does, you blame me. She hurts you and you blame me. I made her. It isn't my fault. When she hurts you, it isn't my fault. But it isn't mine. No. Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, I'm not. Oh, Ted, I sat by half my life and let it... It isn't my fault. Everything that You can't blame if me. If I talk to her, if I... Oh, I what's talk the to point? Her. There's no point. She won't come back. You want to blame me? She's gone. 
tried and tried with that girl. You can't have her. I wanted to help her. You can't live with her. I can't expect you to believe. You Even understand. in memories, you can't. She isn't coming back. She isn't coming back. Me, Ted. You have to live with me. She told you. <laughs> All these years. And you... Pretend... Live with Alan. No. Is that the idea? Alan's You'd like that? way too. He wouldn't... hurt you. We can't. Either one of us. I walked into the room and saw my father hit my mother across the face. They were quarrelling. I don't know what it was all about, but he hit her and she started to cry. I picked up a knife and pushed it into his stomach. Deep into his stomach. Low. No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Children don't murder their parents. You, you don't mind if I have a cigarette now, do you? She was so frightened of my father, she used to hide me away when he was in the house. He never saw me, except when he sent for me, of course. Twice a year, once on my birthday, once at Christmas. It was a long time ago. Things have changed since then, changed for the better. I used to see my children almost every day. We used to go on picnics together. You do? Blame me. One day I was crying. It was nothing important. I think I must have cut myself. It was something quite trivial, but I was crying. My mother put her hand over my mouth so that he wouldn't hear, so that he wouldn't be angry. Children shouldn't cry, shouldn't be heard crying. <laughs> I nearly suffocated. I loved my father. You blame me for everything. I respected him. He was a man you could respect. Sorry. You don't mind if Alan goes to Australia. Why should you? I think I'll go to bed. There's nothing I want to watch on telly tonight, is there? Alan, Ellen, the children, let them go to Australia. Let them stay there two years, three, five, ten. You're still young. You'll be here when they get back. You'll be alive. I won't. I'll be dead. I hate you. Did you know that? Not for anything you've done, just for being younger. For having more years to live. You will still be alive when I'm dead. I don't want to die. I don't go out anymore, you don't know why. You think he's getting old? Stupid, can't take things in anymore. I hate everyone. Yes, almost everyone I see, sir, I hate them. They'll be here, they'll be alive when I'm dead. In the earth. Rotting. Till death do us part. I always thought, if I thought about it, and I thought about it, everyone will die before I die. I'll live forever. I've got to, because I'm so frightened hmm? of dying. Isn't that silly? An old man like me, why should I want to stay alive? What is there left? What can I do? I didn't know. You didn't think. 
nothing left, Sarah. Just living. And you'll still be living when I'm dead. Don't stay down here all night. You've had a tiring day. I've got a few things to do. I'll potter down here. I heard a terrible lot of, I don't know, things being broke. Oh? It went on and on, and I thought I didn't well, hear it anything. Come... Didn't you? No. I would have sworn it came. I mean, that's why I'm here, I thought. What? Well, your house, all that smashing and crashing, I would have sworn. Something on the television. I'm always thinking. No. Of... Can't think what it can have been. You are? Well, yes, I, I can see you. Sorry to disappoint you. It's nothing to do with me. I wonder what... Well, if I'd stop to think... I... Come and sit down. I don't know what I thought I was going to find. I'll make the fire up. I won't stop as long as there's no one breaking up the happy home. I'm sort of expecting Dick back any minute. Oh, me home yet? I'm expecting him. Would you like a cup of tea? I don't want to put you to all that trouble, and, uh, unless you let me. Sit down. Would you? What's that? I could put the kettle on. No wonder you're off it if you I want a cup of tea. You look a bit tired. Never mind about me. Would you like a cup no. of... No. Thanks. Now sit down, sit down. You look like the children, forever on the move. Can't stop, must rush. Sometimes wonder what they do with all the time they save. How are they? Terry and Alan? Much as usual. I, I thought Alan... Well, don't sit there. Come and sit by the fire. Is he worried about something? Alan, no. He look... Well, it's a look Dick sometimes gets when he's worried. <laughs> he's got a new job. Promotion, more money. I don't know what he's got to be worried about. You must be cold over I'm there. What fine, are you just... really? He didn't look like a man with a new job. He's to go to Australia. A new job. Taking them all with him. Hmm. Oh, yeah. First you knew about it. First he knew about it uh, last Friday, something like. Um... Was he telling his father? What? When I looked in, he was upstairs. No, he to told his us over tea. How soon is it? He's going. We don't know yet. Month. Two months. You'll miss him. You miss the children too. I asked him not. Um, of course, Teddy thinks he ought to take it. What does Mr. Stevens think? Oh, he hadn't. He knows. Well, part of him knows, but he hadn't taken it in yet. Not really. Sort of a hectic afternoon. <laughs> Let me make you a cup of tea. No. Uh, thanks all uh, so much. I wonder what it was. <laughs> Silly. I shan't rest until I know. Sounds at night. Quite ordinary sounds at oh, night. Oh, yes, I know. know. But this was so clear, so... Well, it was China being smashed and someone shouting. Plain as plain. You thought... I was absolutely certain. Came over as fast as I could. Fearless Jill to the rescue. I thought he was in bed. I saw the light was on. What's the time? 
Come. Half past eleven. In bed and asleep. Unless he's still looking for that photograph. Alan mentioned a photograph. He won't be happy till he's found it. Remember, my father was like that. Once he started looking my for something, father. the house was in a turmoil. If he was still alive. Then once he found it, he couldn't understand what all I the I loved my father. But well, girls do, don't they? It's a rule. He was killed in the war. I suppose, really, I hardly knew him. The first war. I was very young. I suppose I hardly knew him. He must have been young. Nine when he was killed. I remember my mother telling me. Lots of other girls lost their fathers, of course. But I can remember thinking, I don't care about them. What does it matter? They can all die. Just... I always thought he'd come back. I never really believed he was dead. People you love don't die. Went away, didn't come back. I always thought he would. <laughs> I was very young. Must have been a terrible shock for you. For your mother, too. Mm. You don't think? I always thought I knew I him. Mean, I always someone had tells this you how lucky. picture. Really, how very lucky. He was gentle. I was saying till someone tells. I didn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> it was it as wasn't if... important. <laughs> Ted, time and time again, I know he hasn't heard. He doesn't listen. That's quite usual. He's not a young man. I'm not old. I'm not as old as he is, and yet times a blank emptiness, darkness, and silence. I, I, I don't hear. I don't know. Things happen. I know things happen. I, I do things. I don't know I've done them. Suppose... You ought to talk to someone. You see, I don't know what... I don't know. I can't control you what... You told Alan. I might do anything. I might. I think you should tell Alan. <laughs> He's going to Australia. They can't make him if he says he oh, wants to stay I think he should go. All right, he I think it's right. The job is clever. He'll get another. If he's to get on. If it was Dick, you'd be right. She wants worry. him to get on. You she wants... him. He can't go running off to Australia. No, I, I, He's I got can't a duty stop him. to you. He belongs here. I can't talk to ask him. Tell him about whatever it is. If tell I could him he talk, won't go. Explain. He's going to look after Mr. Stevens. Somebody understand. I've always wanted to share. Any help to you? What, Terry? You're lucky to see her twice a year. Even then she can't speak it a word. It doesn't make any difference. You're always telling me. Why people come and see it, it doesn't make any difference. Well, I hope my oh. children show a little more sign when they're grown up. Teddy's got her own life to live. Months. It's why they come and see I you. I wish I had sixpence for every time I've heard you say, Terry comes to see us when she wants something. Yes. I've said that. She's a selfish little bitch. You've said that too. You're right, she is a more selfish girl. Yes. She wouldn't walk yes. across the road to stop you jump off a bridge. I say that. You can't depend on her. If you if want she help, is tell like Alan. That. If, if put Teddy it is to so him. selfish, it's Eat not no her fault. It's not her fault, it's her fault really. I told her, to I always told her you'll let us down is one day. Car? How could she help? Just a minute. What? Yes, I think it is. What? It's a car. Dick's car, by the sound of it. Well, now. You're not going. I've got one or two things to say to him. Mrs Hayter. What sort of time is this to be coming home? Look, I don't want to be What'd left... What did you say? Are you going? Well, yes, love, I'll see you in the morning. Oh. Uh... There, it's stopped. He's leaving it in the road. He won't take the chance of trying to put it away tonight. That shows you. I... Uh, you could just stay... Well, I'd like to. Of course I would. Not tonight. Anyway, it's time you were in bed. Mr Stevens will be wondering what's happened to you. Oh, no. I wonder if he's got his key. He forgets it more times. Mm -hmm. He's lucky if he can get into the lock. I'll find my own way. You go to bed. You look as if you could do with the rest. Mm. I'm just, um... Wait till the fire dies. What'd you say? There's no point in wasting a perfectly good fire. Suit yourself. Oh, he's going to put it away. I'll see you in the morning. If you're feeling better.
somebody hold me.